Good day guys. I can't believe it either. Oh, there goes some bunnies off the screen. I'm in Hunting Simulator 2. I can't believe it's true. It's a very fitting song. I've uh, been looking at Hunting Sim 2 for a while, but it never really had like a price drop or anything like that. Uh, and it seems to have a lot of pros, but also a whole lot of cons to it. Uh, but with the Steam Summer Sale, Hey, it's five dollars. I've played all the modern hunting games except for this one, so you know, might as well jump into it. So I don't, uh, I don't know what to think of myself, but all those games that are on sale, this is uh, <laughs> one of the ones I pick up here. Uh, so we're just jumping into it. It's not going to be a review or anything. It's going to be like a playthrough. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I actually haven't done anything. I've really just loaded it up. Uh, well, I've clicked a few of these, but haven't loaded in the game. Uh, I haven't really tested sound levels. It looks okay. It looks a little quiet, but I can't actually make it louder, so it's kind of odd. If I go to the sound, like everything's cranked and OBS is... Oh, little clicks are coming through real loud. So I'll have to watch that as the video goes on. If you're new to the channel, I kind of like record live and sort of like that, so there's minimum editing and all that good stuff. Uh, one thing I noticed is there's no music. No music volume or anything. And that's like the first thing you got to go in and check so you don't get the old copyright stuff. So, no music in the game? Okay, so here's a heads up. If it starts playing music, the sound might disappear. Because I'll have to like mute it or whatever after. Anyways, uh, so I'm not too sure what to make of that. Uh, I did a few tweaks in the graphics. I'm only going to run, of course, 1080. A full screen for now. The field of view seems low. Like, I, I kept on default. I like to start with default. So I just saw the bunnies back. I like to start with defaults and just adjust from there, but I already did some because my computer doesn't seem to be stressed at all. So I did view distance epic and I increased the foliage. I always reduce the meat, the uh, shadows a bit because I never really see like high detail shadows or anything like that. And I took vertical sync off. So, so far the game wins in two areas. The download was small. And it's not stressing out my little CPU fan. I, I need to replace my CPU fan. And it usually, like most games, make it run, like it, it gets loud and quiet and so far nothing. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't know what to turn on and off in here. I guess the story will tell us. Gameplay, I like this. There's one setting in the gameplay, clear your save data. Okay. Uh, I didn't go into controls or anything. Let's just jump in. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've watched some playthroughs in the past. And I was looking at it, the, the pros seem to be, like, the dog and the the firearms and stuff like that, like, the, being able to customize it. And it's got some... I value immersion in the game. Uh, so I think there's a lot that pull you out of the immersion, but I also kind of like the idea of licenses and stuff like that. Anyways, let's jump in here. Uh, well, I see there's hunter mode, explore the wilds and hunt various animals, then ranger mode. Uh, the life of the ranger, but I think this is a DLC you gotta download. So, I don't know. Let's just uh, click the button, see what happens. Uh, we got male, female. I guess we'll just play the male. There we go. Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm not really going to cut anything on the and shine. Quick loading. Time for you to participate in your first time. I'll be guiding you from a distance and giving out some tips as you go. Are you ready to take on the elements? Okay, I am. Uh, so I'm just checking on my audio. It could be a little loud here, so I'm gonna have to fiddle around with that. Okay, so I made a little bit of tweaks. We'll see how it goes. Uh, he just said to step out. Like, in my ears, I have, like, tons of wind noise. Oh my goodness, the field of view. Oh yeah, I am gonna have to change this. This is... Whoa! This is a super zoomed in. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely going to have to change that. This is making me dizzy. Okay, I put it at 90. 90 is a good place to start. Okay, this is better. Oh, that was really zoomed in. All right, so we got a little cabin. I think it's still too zoomed in for me. Uh, but we'll we'll take a look here. First thing I notice is he's got kind of like a head bob actual walking animation. Which maybe that's what's making me dizzy. I don't know, we'll see. I, I actually can, I can appreciate that. Remember, I like the I like the immersion here. Good. Well, 
get down to business. No, we got a vehicle. Should be some tracks nearby. Walk around a little, you should be able to find some. All right. So I'm not too sure if his uh, voice is coming through okay now. Okay, further adjustments. I might be saying, Bumble, why didn't you prepare this ahead of time? Well, I really wanted to load into the game for the first time, like, not knowing everything, like, anything at all. Uh, so I made some more little volume adjustments. There should be just, like, this breeze in the background. I think it's plenty quiet. Uh, but I didn't catch how loud his voice was, so I think maybe he came across quiet. Uh, but he should be back loud again about my volume. So we'll see. I just want to see the vehicle. I get distracted easy. This could be a long video, so... <laughs> Heads up. Well, you'll know how long it is. Uh, but when I'm recording, I do not know how long it is. Uh, we have some ferns growing into the vehicle. Oh, I'm leaving the hunting area. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thanks for moving me back a whole foot. So we got really dirty windshields. I do notice the, the fern thing. I am someone that checks on the details. I like the walk speed, though. This walk speed's good. So if you're new to the channel, I do a lot of Way of the Hunter. And I definitely played Call of the Wild and Classic, so I'm pretty well versed in the modern hunting sort of thing. Uh, but this is, I don't know what to make of the head bob at the moment, but I kind of, I like the walk speed. That's very kind of immersive. Nice little sunbeams coming through. And graphics look okay so far. I mean, for like a six gig game or something. Okay, I made it to the spot. There we oh. go! And your first track. I did. Now, you're gonna have to analyze this track if you want to know what kind of animal we're hunting today. I don't see a track. Oh, I just gonna take its word for it. Oh, there it is. It's like a little little shine. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, the fabled oh, white-tailed oh, oh. deer. A classic. Okay. Okay. So we know it's a white tail. We do. We don't have a license or a weapon for it yet. Oh yeah, that's Would a problem. Would you mind marking this location on your map and then returning to the cabin? Sure. I'll get you the right license and weapon for when you get there. Okay. All right. M to open the map. Enter to add the marker. M. And I want to add the marker. Did it work? Oh, white tail deer. All right. Back. Oh, I marked the wrong spot. Whoa. Do I mark the cabin? Or did I have to select the white-tailed deer? Oh, okay, I had to add it again. I get it. So there, now we got... We have a mark. Return to the cabin. Okay, that was a good stroll. Yeah, I might end up bringing this up a lot about the, the walking. Here, can we run? Okay, yeah, standard shift. We'll run. That's a nice little cabin. Oh, it's a toggle. Okay. Yeah, that... Okay. Oh! I think you're ready got to here? go hunt that white tail now. Oh wait, before you head out, I got you a little surprise. What do we got? What what's going on? It's controlling the That's camera. Right. Oh, yay, the puppy it's dog. Your very own hunting beagle. Aww. Why don't you go ahead and give the dog a name? You're gonna be named Snoopy, probably. Okay, I'm just gonna name him. Uh, first name that popped in my mind. We're gonna name him Blue. Uh. Probably a couple of reasons, but the first thing that popped in my mind was I was like thinking of it. It was uh, what's that Will Ferrell movie? You know, that a boy blue or oh, I can't remember the blue guy. They, anyways, <laughs> I don't know. Right, we're gonna call him Blue. But I think it's just funny because he's not blue at all. But normally, uh, name uh, well, you can name hounds like the bloodhounds, blue and stuff like that. Anyways, we're gonna name him Blue. Uh, sure. That's an awesome name. I thought so. Reminds me of my old border collie. Okay. Are you blue? Let's get back to those tracks. Not a boy blue. Check your map to find the marker you placed. All right, where's he going? All right, so he's just off to do his business there, I guess. Okay. Come on, blue. Yeah, see, that works. That's a nice, easy name. He's got kind of like a blue tent to his back. All right, let's go. We're gonna find this uh, deer. Let's take a look here. There we go. Your dog found the track. He did. Good job. Yeah, blue. Now you should praise them for doing a good job. Okay. This will increase their drive and make them more obedient. All right. Yeah. So I got treats or something. Hold C and select the praise command. Give him a thumbs up. Oh yeah, expertise, drive, and stamina. 
Now that you have your dog, dog. You, you can instruct them to follow a trail from this track. Okay. If the dog is following a trail, they'll go to the next track and wait for your next instructions. Give it a try. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so we can analyze the track again. Ooh, we get a nice little sound input there. It's old. C and uh, track, I guess. So that's what that means. Go, follow that trail. Follow that trail, Blue. Okay, let's keep following this trail for a bit. I'm sure you'll run into something eventually. Oh, look at his tail wag. Oh, I heard people like in the Steam reviews didn't like the dogs, like how they're animated. It looks fine to me. I mean, it's a six gigabyte game. It's not gonna be. Super. I mean, if I, like, treat this uh, like a small indie game kind of thing, I think I'll be easier on it. I don't actually know anything about the developers or the studio size or anything like that. Hey, your dog is getting too far away. Come back to you and stop trailing. Oh, you don't so, get close. So we have to run? So is this a sprinting game? Oh, I have to do it again? There Let's go. go. Your dog found the track. Okay. Let's go blue. So I'll run after you. That's kind of strange hunting though, like sprinting around. Gonna be a Call of Duty style here, is it? Hunting can be a slow game. Well, not when we're sprinting. You need to have nerves of steel and an incredible amount of patience. If you keep following the tracks, though, you're bound to run into an animal eventually. Bound to. Okay. I like how the dog's moving through the like the, the grass and all the little le you know, like the blades of grass are moving. That's cool. Like they got the little touches. It looks like. And his nose is down. Tails just to go in. I have no idea what rifle we have. Is there a free look? I don't. I don't know if there's like a a way you can move your head around by itself. Like the Hunter Classic has that. And I think all hunting games should. Like be able to pivot your head while you're moving. Look there to stand. Yes, it is. Why don't you get a little closer? Okay. Well, blue seems to be leading us there. Oh, now he's going off. Okay, I'll go to the stand. Blue, you go that way, I guess. Right now, this feels like a little bit like Cabela's Pro Hunts at the moment. Okay, now all you have to do is climb into it. Maybe it's because the graphics feel like they're from 2014 or whatever. It kind of looks like Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. It sort of does. Okay. Do we get a climbing animation or a teleport? There you a teleport. go. Right. Now that you're in a stand, it's time to play the waiting game. Okay. You hey, don't Blue. have to wait in a stand, but it gives you a nice vantage point and makes you less noticeable. Yeah, that's what stands do. Okay. Okay. So, oh. Let's wait a bit more. My instinct Whoa. is telling me something good is about to happen. All right, I'm sure it is. There, oh, white-tailed deer. Don't shoot it just yet. You need to carefully plan your shot. Okay. Take a deep breath and aim for its vital organs. It's a good idea. So don't aim for its uh, rear end. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, I'm waiting. We didn't have to wait very long. Not really showing off the patience of hunting. Okay, so I take it's going to be a right click. Oh, yeah, because it's telling me in the corner. The shot. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I got to hold it down. Okay. Is there a zoom? No idea. Shoot it. You're oh. going to let it get away. No, 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 no. I'm trying to learn the game. Oops. <laughs> oh, it's just going to let me do it. Well, how do I hold the breath? I can't hold breath? Oh, yes, I can. Shift. Good job. You got that deer good. Okay. Now, get out of the stand. And go find the blood trail. All right, I think that was a well played shot. I mean, I didn't kind of hurry. Did it ever give me a like a like a, a tool tip on holding the breath? So it's pretty wobbly there, and then. Oh yeah, he gets he steadies right up. Wonder how long I can hold the breath. Does the heartbeat increase? Does it? Does it ever fail? Oh, there it goes. Okay, and can I repeat immediately? Oh no, good. So they got a cooldown on the hold breath thing. That's pretty cool. Don't okay. Don't forget to always memorize the location where you shot the animal. Well, there's a big white thing there. Okay, so far, 
Uh, like, not... Not great model on the deer, as far as I can see. Um... But again, like, I mean, I'm thinking of this game like an indie game. Like a, a low-budget hunting game. Maybe I shouldn't think of it that way, but if I do, I think I'll be more impressed. But it's doing some small things correctly. I don't know how to hey, zoom in and out. A bit, but there should be a blood trail where you shot it. Okay. Okay. Take a good look at that blood. Now, just follow it, or have the dog trail. Where's the blood? Hold C and select the track command while looking at the track. Okay. Is it, does it glow? Oh, here's the foot. Oh, here's the blood. Okay. Does the blood glow so you can see it? Well, it's a very subtle glow. That's not bad. I think these developers were looking at pro hunts. Now, I gotta try something. Does it glow if I sprint? Oh, you can't really see it. Okay, still, still glows if you sprint. Okay. Analyze. Blood bright. Okay, that's good. So that's a long hit. Okay, blue. Uh, we have to hold down C. And then track. Go get it. Go get it, buddy. Okay, he's on it. Should be a lot of blood to fall. Does it splatter on the leaves? Oh, I can't tell. Is that on the leaf or not? Is there a crouch? Okay, I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to it. Oh, I lost... Okay, so the dog's got an icon on him. I was just curious if the blood splatters on, like, the grass and stuff. Doesn't look like it. Well, it went through a tree. Oh, it, it does look like it's vertically kind of splattered. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's in the that's in the tree. Okay, cool. I think, or, that, or is that flowers? <laughs> I think it's, I think it it's in the tree. Too far now. No. Look at the blood. Okay, whoa. Jeez, what in the world? There yeah. it Presents? is. Where? You did it. All you have to do now is bag it. Bring it on back to the cabin. Oh, what is with the model? What is with the fur? The hair, what is going on there? Okay, we'll ignore that for a second. Well, it tried to do... Like, fur or something? Okay, I am gonna treat this like a 2014 game or something, like a 10 year old or, or something. Oh, the blood's cool, though. I'll get points of the blood. All right, let's pick him up. Well, let's take a look at the antlers. Oh, not bad. I'm mad. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna... This is 2014 game. I know it came out in 2020, but I'm gonna treat it like a, a 2014 game. Okay, let's bag the deer. Oh, okay. Yeah, so very basic. Very basic. This is like hand-drawn thing here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, just a second. I'm just facepalming myself for just a second. This is a modern hunting game, and this is what we have for a, a harvest screen. Oh, dear. Pun intended. Okay, is the red what I hit? Hold on. Male, adult. I'm in Europe. Bargita County? I have a Bar Zenith Wood HC. 100 meter shot. We have no info. Uh, Okay, so I hit lung and heart. Okay, good job. I was too high for the heart, though. Okay, massive cavity damage, maybe? And then I got to the stomach? Okay, massive penetration, then, so that makes sense. But how do... I guess I miss... Well, they modeled the liver correctly, then, yeah, you can miss that. Depending which side it's on or whatever. What's this up here? The bladder? All right, this would be liver, stomach, intestines? Uh, I don't know what what's what's up there. Right. It's supposed to be back. Here. I don't know. It's supposed to be back here. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Now, yes, I mean, if you're new to the channel, I ramble and get distracted easy. Oh, we got a little blue brain up here. Okay. Uh, bag. Let's head back. You can use your map if you're lost. Okay. Return to the cabin. Well, so far, you know, it's not bad. Map. Oh, we got a Oh, it wants to... Can I zoom out? Okay, so this is the map. It doesn't look that big. Ooh, that's kind of a small map. We got a tower. And then I just click here to go. 
no, I don't, I don't want to add waypoint, filter, add marker back. Enter? Oh, I, I guess we got to run back, do we? I thought maybe there'd be a fast travel. Um, okay, it's, it's north, northwest. Oh, the compass is kind of weird. They, in the compass, they should make the, like, the main points, like, north, northwest, west, like, big. Like, the letters popping out and then the numbers small. Anyways, it's not like they're going to change the game anymore. Oh, and the, the reticle in the middle moves. It's shrinking, so that must be my stamina. Does he run out of oomph? Let's see. Okay, yeah, he ran out of breath. All right. So he's kind of out of shape. He's kind of out of shape, but that's about, that's realistic, though. That's about as fast as far as I can run, then I'll, then I'll be done, too. Okay, so we got a stamina bar, which is okay. We'll get a little bit of feedback. Uh, blue is having fun. I didn't check, like, crouch and everything, though. Crouch? Okay. Is there a prone? Up, down. Hold down? There we go. Wait. This doesn't seem like he's laying down. Is he laying down? Crouch. Stand up. Crouch. Prone. Oh, that's kind of a... Uh, ooh, they didn't... They didn't decide to animate any kind of crawl animation. That's a... That's a strike against them there. Oh, hi, Blue. Uh, we were going over here. Here's the road. Oh, jeez. Good Wait, lord. did you hear that? <laughs> seems there's another animal nearby. It seems so. Sounds like it's a moose. Yeah. But you don't have a license for it. Darn. Which means you won't be able to hunt it. Ah. Uh. It always pays to get multiple licenses for a region. Okay. So you can hunt more than one animal type at a time. Sure. Anyways, let's get back to that cabin. Right, that's what I was doing. But oh, that moose scared the bejeebas out of me. Return to cabin. Well, I guess this first episode will be just me doing the tutorial, I guess, because now that you're at 20 the minutes. Cabin, all you have to do is claim the animal and we're done. Oh, that, I didn't claim the animal yet. Oh, I just threw it in a bag and I'm carrying it. Is that what's going on? When you claim a bag, Dan, well, you can either trade it in for cash or make a trophy out of it. The choice is yours. Oh, okay. Trophy or cash. Okay. Is there, like, an exterior view? Okay, there's an item wheel. That's not working. Do I have any other items on me? No. And then you can... It's V and B or something. Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, over the shoulder. Back further. Oh. And this is closer. Can we spin the camera? Oh, I want to, like, see the guy... Oh, can I not hold the... the camera still? What happens if I do hip shot? Oh, you can't do hip fire. Oh, darn. I want to be able to, like, rotate the camera around. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well. Let's play like this for a minute. There's, like, hardly any hunting games where you play over the shoulder. Sort of. Oh, he switches automatically when he goes in. Okay. Uh, menu. Claim, an claim animals that you have begged. Either for... Crit okay. Claim. Oh, so now it gives you the info. So he's six years old. Right? And so we know... I don't know if Way of the Hunter info is correct, right? But they're like... Eight, they lived like eight or nine or something like that. Uh, all right. So that's all good. It doesn't really give you... I, I wanted to give more shot feedback, though. 35 kilograms. It's only like 70 pounds. It's a lightweight guy, isn't it? Size. Meters. Uh, I might change this to... Usually I play in metric all the time, but this is actually kind of weird. Size, 1.3 meters. Is that... That's his height, I guess? For length? I don't know. Are we measuring a fish? Uh, time taken. 14 feet 35 inches. What? Is it supposed to be four, 
2.35 in the afternoon. It, this is feet and inch is what? Score 200 means nothing to me. Credits 480. Footprint. Okay. Uh, I want to sell it because it doesn't seem like a trophy to me. Sell. Good job. You did great today. I think you're ready for your first solo hunt. Oh, okay. I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself and be patient. Thanks. Now, let's go back to your lodge. You're ready. Okay. Should be real quick loading Welcome time. Welcome to the yeah. hunting lodge. Here you can set up for your hunts and purchase any gear or companions you may need for them. Head over to the computer to access the store and claim your permanent license. Okay. Oh, there is music. But I don't think this is going to be a copyright thing, hopefully. Okay, well, we'll have a nice piano playing in the background. Um, yeah, it's going to be a weird video if they copyright this little tune. Alright, what do we got here? Kind of reminds me of Minecraft music. We got chess going on. Uh, that's a messy situation they got going on there. What on earth? Okay. I wonder if that's like a, uh... Um, like an Easter egg or something. Like, solve... Play the game, see who wins. Um... I don't actually like the music. Oh well. So we got a, a bedroom. Piano. Oh yeah, here's our little... Oh. An old, old double barrel is sitting in here. Cool. Okay, yeah, no music volume or anything I can see, so we're, we gotta listen to the calming. What's this? Okay, we can't leave. So we get some trophy locations. Okay, can I play the piano? No. Okay, so he wants me to buy some stuff, right? But I'm exploring right now. So here's the store. Okay. Can I change view? No. Can I go up here? There's a note. Maybe there's a story or something in this game? What says that? Great big ashtray or something? Alright, so I guess that's the whole thing. Do we unlock more? Or... Okay. Let's go to the store. See what we're do what we're dealing with here. This should be interesting. As we listen to the little elevator music. So we have licenses. A bobcat license free. A duck license is free. Everything's free. Colorado hair, goose, pheasant, a rabbit. You, you have to have a rabbit and a hare. Turkey, red fox, coyote, sheep license. Oh, I didn't even notice the uh, calibers it was showing in the bottom. These are all just shotguns. Oh. So we got the 223 and the 243. And then all of a sudden the sheep, we get more options. Okay, all the popular choices are there. 243, the 308, the 270, the 30 out 6. The 9.3 is hanging out here. 3030 and the 338. Yeah, let's use the 338 on the sheep here. Okay. Uh, mule. White tail. Elk. Boar. Black bear, okay, so... Yeah, all these are the same. Oh, I see. The 243 disappears. That's all that disappears there. When you go to these big animals. Cougars in the game. Moose. And a grizzly bear. So we got black bear, grizzly. Okay, that's a cool selection. Our money's over there in the corner. And then we have the other zones. Which I'll, I'll check out later, I, I guess. Or do we check them out now? Is there anything cool in these ones? This is Texas. Kind of the same. Pronghorn, sheep, whitetail, mule deer. It's kind of the same. 
Oh, bison. Oh, it's just a little different. That's kind of disappointing that it's not vastly different. There's just less animals. Okay, does this one? Europe. Okay, this should be different. That was kind of the same so far. Oh, great wolf. I think that was different, right? Oh, fallow deer. Okay, cool. Roe deer. Yep. Oh, seek a deer. Red deer. Okay, so we got kind of like two areas. Is these U.S. ones are kind of similar. Brown bear and a moose again. Okay, not a ton of animals. Uh, by the looks of it, it looks like they put most of the effort in the first area. <laughs> and they're like, I'll just throw a couple others together. Okay, let's back out. Oh, weapons. Okay, this would be... Oh, I can't. Oh, what was my what was my job to do here? Just buy one? So, we'll play it safe and just keep hunting Whitetail? This is free. Bye. License selected. Weapon awarded. XPR comp composite. Okay. So, we'll go Whitetail hunting? Or do I just buy them all? Don't know. Weapons. Okay. Ooh, look at the price. Okay, so I just unlocked this. We got a Browning X bolt. Bolt action, clip size four. Yeah, because you, you kind of design them yourself in this game, right? So then we got the varmint. I wonder if it if the stats change on these. Canyon long range. I wonder if they went into that sort of detail. So we got sim so we got bolt actions up here, and then we got semi-automatics down here. It's a pricey one. It doesn't give you much info. Oh, toggle info, left control? Oh, it just tells you the calories it could take. Oh, not too much. Oh, we can examine it, though. Ooh, whoa. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Browning. Alright. Back. And then... Yeah, 30 out 6. Bunch of 3 elites and 30 out 6s. Oh, here we go. Here's some... Some big choices here. So how many are there? Oh my... Oh wow, it goes on forever. Okay, well this is cool. A Seiko? I don't know how you pronounce that. Okay. Ooh. Nice little magazine there. Manual repeating. Well, that's different. I don't know what a manual repeating is. Bolt action. Oh, these you got tons of selection. I like. Does it actually affect? Oh, we got a little lever action. Ah, oh, there's the thirty thirty. The stay true Winchester. Oh, I'm gonna be buying one of these. Oh, the Model 94. Oh, we got two choices. The Sporter and the Takedown. <gasps> we get some points here. This is like my 3030. A little shorter one. I wonder if it affects performance. Shorter, so yep. Yeah, less, less ammo you can fit in it. Oh, see, now I'm just spending way too much time in here, but this is actually kind of cool. Neat. Oh my, oh jeez, there's even more categories. Look at the shotguns. So what do we got, just 12 and... Oh, is there slugs and stuff, or...? It just says, maybe there's no slugs in the game. They're all just 12 gauges? Tons of these, too. They can't really have that much effect on things, I wouldn't think, right? Oh, and then we got the ARs. <laughs> Clip size 30. Oh, yeah. I'm going to war with that one. Putting the, putting the needle around in it. Oh, they're all 223s. 
Oh, we all got three elite variants. Okay, so you get these in three elite or uh, two two elite. That makes sense. Oh, it's just a color change. That's all that is. All right, got a bit of Call of Duty in there, and we have a crossbow. Okay. The Grizzly Brown, traditional recurve. Uh, compound. It's this color change, it looks like. Yeah, it's just color pattern changes. Okay. Interesting. So, I mean, I wonder, I, I doubt the stats change a whole lot between some of these. Anyways, that's cool. Oh, more stuff. What the? Optics. So you just buy the reticle. Oh, some of it changes. So what was I using there? These are all just 2.4, which is hardly any zoom at all. 4.2. It's kind of weird zoom settings. 4.2, 4.2. 6. I think I've seen this in a review thing in the Steam section. Yeah, they only go up to six times. Okay. You just pick what you like there. Items? Okay. Fancy binoculars. Range finder. What's this stuff? Okay, you can check for wind. Okay, cool. Oh, lures. Lots of... Okay, a lot of those. That's cool. Uh, scent killer. So just mask your scent. That's all that's there. Okay, and then lures for spray lures. Cool. Okay, they got... They have stuff. Oh, clothing as well? Oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to buy some geeky hats and stuff. Look at that cool guy. Okay, lots of... Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look at this later. <laughs> this, this is actually a lot of stuff. Oh, only three different boots, though. And, oh, we get a little purse. And a little tiny backpack. Oh, yeah, we gotta have, you gotta have the monster backpack. Okay. Uh, companions? Okay, yeah, so you get the other doggies. A lab. A black lab. A brown lab. And a pointer. Okay, so you only get the... You get three choices of a lab. And then we get the pointer. So this was for the small game. These were for ducks. And then you basically just use the beagle for all the big stuff, I think. Okay. Saving game. Uh... Now what do we do? Stuff is glowing. Oh, I can put my doggy here? Aww. Okay. So do we just... Oh, I can turn the music off. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't. Uh, you know, copyright that there. And I could have turned it off the whole time. Okay, let's... Uh, let's go out. We'll do a little bit more. And then... Uh, well, maybe we'll... Cut it here. Ah, no, we'll do... We'll do a little bit more and go out. So two areas in each one. Where were we? Uh, the Roosevelt Forest. Okay. Uh, left shift for licenses. Okay, so I only got the white tail. Let's just see what happens. No weapon selected. Where do I uh, do all that fun stuff? Oh, loadout. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I got the one rifle here. Select backpack. Select weapons. Select weapon one. Bolt action. What is it? Oh, it's a 270. All right. That's a good caliber to start with. So we have a little 270. Okay. Do I put an optic on it? Select scope. You can't select a scope because you don't own any scopes. 
please purchase a scope first. Ah, we're gonna go iron sights. Can we use iron sights on this? Oh no, we can't. Does it let you? Okay. The video's getting long. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna test out a few things. Can I get this? Can I use this? Uh... Oh, I haven't unlocked it. Oh, it's like a secret special one. Hold on, does it let me go without um, a scope? Yes. Oh, can I? So can I do an iron sight shot? Oh. Oh, okay. So you, uh... Oh, you can. You just have to use the little, uh... Little white circle. Oh, that's not bad, though. Well, I don't know, Blue. Do you think we can find anything fast? Probably not. Okay, so here... So I don't know what map I was at, then. Was that... We probably have to buy a bunch of licenses, too. Right, like, how do you find... Okay, so the dog is searching. What do you think? Go, go close to an hour video? Oh, my goodness. What am I doing? Okay, will the dog just find something? I think I have to basically, like, go off camera and, like, study the... Like, buy all the licenses or try to figure out where everything is. Like, what time is it right now? Does it show us a time? No. Okay. Oh, hum. Little blue. How do we find an animal, blue? Where are we even going? We're going kind of to the water. Ah, the water's not a bad idea. Let's check out the water. Uh, so graphics aren't that great in the distance. Again, treating it like an old indie game. That's what I'm doing. I think it's like $60 Canadian. Which, no. Just no. But on the Steam sale thing, it was like 5 bucks. Uh, but then they have, like, all these, uh, expansion stuff. Okay, I can't really tell them to do much. I guess you just walk around and wait until we see something or Blue finds something. Oh, was that just a sound? Or did I just imagine it? Well, that's not bad looking. So, yeah, I don't know any strategy at all. Like, is this the kind of game you sprint around, or...? I know there's an auto lock, which is nice. Then we can do this, I guess. Oh, we don't have a hat or anything. It doesn't really zoom in very much in that camera, right? Yeah, the first person is way better for that. Something in the water. It's a rock. So, should we walk down the river here, Blue? You not seem to be that many animals around. Doesn't really give you a hint or anything. Like where the animals may be. Maybe they're just kind of randomly tossed around the map. I think it's a little, like, symbol on his head. I guess that's just so I can find where he is. Okay, well, let me walk around for a little bit, and we'll just kind of enjoy the sounds. And, uh, we'll pop back in the video if something happens. Oh, and something happened right away. Look, the crouch speed and the walk speed are the same speed. Is there no sneak? I don't know. What did you find, Blue? What's this? Analyze. Ah! That's exactly what we need. Oh. I got a, got a steam achievement. Perfect. Okay, Blue. Here. Who's a good doggy? Oh, who's a good doggy? Yep. 
you got it. And of course, I imagine everybody like tries to, you know, do that course, but it gives you like this red, red thing there. Of course, I'm not going to do that. It seems to be the Let's thing go. everybody tries to do in the hunting game with the dog. Or at least I see it all the time on Forbes and Discord. Can you shoot the dog? Not going to shoot the dog. Oh! Pheasant. Okay, so the sound puts a little shield icon -like around them. Okay, we gotta keep up with him because then he gets he stops, right? So I wonder how how far this dude's gonna be. Oh. Oh look at him go. Did you lose the track? Do they have what's the thing in the bottom left? Is that the dog stamina? Uh, can we see the track? Does that mean he's lost? Oh, stamina increased. Okay, so he's getting better. Where's the actual deer prints, though? Or the footprints? Like, is he on the trail? What's he doing? How do I tell if he's still on the trail? Because I don't see any tracks, and he looks confused. Okay, there's a pheasant there. Wait, is he not looking anymore? What are you doing, Boo? He just got his nose in the air. He doesn't seem to be on a trail. Like, if I turn, is he coming this way now? Or is he on his own? Oh no, now he's confused. I'm confused too. So he, he, he lost the trail, did he? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, all right, I guess we'll just mess around here a little bit to see if he figures out what he's doing. Okay, so I guess he lost the trail. He's just got his nose up in the air. So what if we Come. call him off of the trail? Will you find it again? Yeah, we got this pheasant like yelling. Okay, so we're searching. Like, do I go back to where we found the trail and start him off again? Where did we find the trail? Ooh, I should have I should have barked the original spot. It was down here though. Okay, so he can't get it. I'm going to go back and see if I can get him back on the trail again. Okay, he found something. Is it going to be the white-tailed deer? How'd you do there, Blue? What'd you find this time? Oh, it's a moose. Well, that's okay. Uh, good boy. That's a good dog. Drive increased. Okay. Let's keep looking for this white-tailed track again. Okay, now he found some urine. Of the white-tailed deer. Good job. So we'll praise him. Who's a good doggy? And then we'll set him Let's on the go. trail. Okay, we'll give him another try here. Oh, he's going... He's swimming now. So the deer actually went this way? Oh, look at him go. Are you sure he went across the water? Are you sure, puppy? Or you're gonna lose him again. He seems to be leveling up okay, like the little little bars moving. It's gonna take a while though. Okay, let's see if he is on the trail or did he get confused again? Oh, hey, you found something again? Okay, but I thought you were already on the trail. Who's a good doggy? Go on. Okay, let's keep him going. Oh, I see. I guess there's not much trails in between. He just tries to find the next one. Such a good dog. Go get it. Okay, you just kind of keep him going. I guess he has to find the next spot and before his stamina runs out, maybe? I don't know. Okay, yeah, so if he runs out of stamina before finding another, like, little waypoint thing, 
Uh, he loses the track. And then if I just back him up a little bit. Yeah, there. So he's going to find another thing. Like another foot prints or something. And then he regains his stamina. So I don't know if we're getting any closer, though. So That's a good we praise him and then Go send him on again. And he's got to get to the next one before running out of stamina. Uh, what what I've been doing... So I'll mark where we are. Oh. Oh, what was that? Like a cougar or something symbol that came up there. Anyways, uh, that's basically what we're doing. I am... So... As long as you're not gonna play the game in a hurry... It's actually quite nice. Uh, I like the third person view, actually. The animation's pretty good. Uh... There isn't really any... Yeah, that's like a bobcat or something. Um... Yeah, there's not really any tracking you can do. I thought maybe you could follow tracks yourself, but you're, you're pretty much fully dependent on the dog, as far as I can tell. So there, he found another thing. But everything's still old, so basically we're just Who's a good dog? praising him to level him up Go. and then keep him going. So hopefully we'll uh, eventually find the deer. Oh, what's this? I found a campsite. Okay, so this is fast travel, so you gotta walk to one of these to do it. Okay. Got it. So is it permanently unlocked on the map? Okay, yep. There it is. Alright, that's fine. Uh, he's gonna run out of stamina soon again. You can sort of see how far we've come. Like, this is quite the... Quite the tracking run here. Like, is it... I don't know if we're ever going to get this guy. He's going to run out of stamina, though, and lose the trail. Yeah, so he just lost it. Now he has to pick it up again. Oh, he just found it. Okay, so he recovered on his own fairly easily there. Because he was pretty much at the spot. Yeah, see, I don't I don't know if we're ever going to... Uh, dog here. Go get it. To find this deer. Okay, get going, buddy. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be what the hunting is. You're not actually doing anything but following the dog. Which, I guess it's okay. Might get a little old, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, you're pretty much just managing your dog till you get to the animal, I guess. Ah, right, here we go. Fresh footprints, finally. Good job, puppy. Who's a good doggy? Now, he actually ran out of, uh... Is that a piece of corn? It is. Uh, he, he actually ran out of, um, energy way back there. And I had to go back and start him over again. And he still didn't have enough stamina to make it to that piece of corn there. But what we did is, is I just kind of kept going in a straight line from where he last was headed. And we ended up finding it anyways, so that was good. And now we have a fresh track, finally. So I'm not too sure, you know, should I be sneaking now, or what we should be doing here. But we'll see what else he, uh, he finds. Okay, so he's on to something now, except I don't want to, I don't want to run. So we'll walk up to it and see. Okay, so same thing. Such a good dog. Go get it. We'll keep him going here. I don't know how close fresh actually means, but at least it's progress. Oh, here we go. So, 100... 14 meters... to the south. So, we're gonna start sneaking. I don't know if you can go any slower than this, I guess. I didn't see anything. Oh, what do we have here? Okay, well, we know where he is. What we'll do... Is, oh, we will mark the deer here, and then sneak up. Oh, wait, he found more. Hey, that's okay. We know he was directly south. So we'll say good boy. Good dog. You did real good. 
And you stay, stay here. Stay, and don't make a sound. Okay, so he's straight south. We'll see if we can see him. I don't know if I even have binoculars or anything. Yeah, I <laughs> should have bought something. Okay, and we know he's through here. Okay, it looks like when the tracks are fresh, it makes a lot more of them. So you can actually start following them. Uh, so this part so far is actually kind of cool now that we got close to them. Because uh, it kind of makes it more important that I don't mess up now. Because we spent so much time tracking this guy. It'll be a bit of a reward if we actually get to him. Now, I don't see... I don't see the glowy tracks, though. But he was up here. But yeah, I don't see... I don't see the glows. Okay, I don't know where the deer is. I might have spooked it, I don't know. I'm kind of at the spot. There's a lot of footprints right there. We're gonna call the dog in. Come. See if he can give me a bit of a hint on, uh... This was where the deer was. And I, yeah, I don't have, like, the scent or the, the wind direction or anything like that. I wonder if he can... Oh, it's, he went that way. Oh, man. Okay, he's coming this way this time. Okay, so he's still south. He's just been walking away. Either I spooked him that way, or he's been walking away. Oh, I see it! But it's a female. <laughs> and I guess we can't... We can't hunt them? Aww, oh, is it... Is it... Is it at least with a buck or something? Because we, we sort of spooked it. I have some white tails up here. One or two or something. But they never stop moving. Like, stop and eat. Or lay down or something. Uh, I don't seem to be spooking them. They just seem to be walking away. Yeah, see? Or they're spooked. I don't know. I can't catch up to them, though. Kind of annoying. Okay, I think the deer finally stopped up here. I, I, got, I have the elevation on them, so that's good. Should maybe see him through these trees? Okay, we got a deer coming actually out here. It was a grunt, so I'm hoping... As a buck. Now, this wasn't what I was tracking. This one just hauled and then kind of stepped out there. Okay, they don't seem to ever stop moving. Okay, here we go. Good gravy. Did we hit him again? I don't know if you get penalized for shooting them too much. Uh, it looks like you get like a, a hit indicator though. Okay. Uh, gun sounds not too too bad. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to like come back with binoculars and like a proper scope. <laughs> and like a, a lure or something like that. Uh, Cause that's really hard. I was trying to track this one and I can't catch up to him. Uh, but let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, so here's the hit here. Nice. Bright blood. Okay, so we made a good shot. Uh, did you already find the deer? Hold on. Um, I didn't actually tell Blue to go look. But it looks like maybe he already found it. Oh yeah, there he goes. Good boy, Blue. Okay, we got one. With iron sights. So you did a good job. Dog. You did real good. Alright. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look too bad if it's uh you know you treat it like an old game. Let's bag him. Oh, hit back. Uh oh, he's just a young guy. I don't know. Okay, well we'll bag him. And then Okay, so the license's been used. And how do we... Can we teleport back now? Okay, yeah, you can just fast travel back. So we'll end it right here. We'll uh, claim our animals. There he is. And uh, uh, we'll just sell him off. All right. Anyways, that's the first look. Looks like we're going to hit an hour right on. Or just about... Oh my goodness, an hour. Anyways, 
Uh, let's just sell. Because uh, it doesn't really give us, give us some basic info. I don't get the time taken thing. 57. Like, it took me 57 minutes into the map? Uh, I don't get it. Anyways, time taken. Uh, super lightweight guy. Super young. But anyways, we got one. So we'll sell him off. I don't know how much money... Does it say how much money you get? I don't know. I'm getting achievements anyways. Better than nothing, claim a young animal. So there's the... Okay. Does it say how much money? Or did I miss that? Return to Lodge? Okay, well, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Can we tell how much money we got from him? No idea. Anyways, I'm only $6,000. Uh, that took a really long time, so I'm gonna gear up a little better for next time. And, uh, we'll see... We'll see what happens. Oh, it looks like we have books and everything. Oh my goodness. Uh, that was actually kind of fun, but I need to figure out the game better and uh, get better at it because that, that took a while. So thanks a bunch for watching. Uh, let me know if you want to see more Hunting Simulator 2. Uh, what I think of it is I'm just going to hold off on that for a little bit because it was fun. But uh, st strange in other ways. Anyways, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one, guys.